Welcome everybody here to our next uh, webinar here at uh, JFD Bank and the warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well uh, and in my name. So, and my name is uh, Stefan Friedrichowski. As always for our JFD Invest in English, you may know that we have the same webinar in German and uh, sometimes I do that as well, but uh, in most cases that will run by Christian Kemmerer. But anyhow, we talk about about uh, JFD Invest, which is a quite cool trading platform. It's, let me introduce it already a little bit. It's a kind of um, mirror trading, a kind of social trading, but all about is that finally, if you have a JFD Invest account, uh, then you are able to have direct copy of quite prof uh, profitable trading strategies directly into your account. So finally, therefore, JFD Invest is a digital wealth management platform as well, because you select between different trading strategies and you as a portfolio manager um, are doing the selection process and you have um, the possibility to find the best match between your personal preferences about trading and investing and those strategies which are offered by <clears throat> JFD Invest. So therefore we have to talk about JFD Invest in order to improve your investing experience. Today, by the way, we have the 23rd of August 2019 and as always, um, you see already my contact. If you have additional questions, do not hesitate to send me um, a note to s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com. Maybe you just do a screenshot and then you have my email address. But anyhow, if you write an email to support at jfdbank.com, everything will be covered as well. Good. But before we really start, I always have to show up our risk disclaimer. You know the procedure and um, that has to be done once during a webinar. And what's about in the risk disclaimer? Yeah, it's quite easy. We talk about trading, we talk about investing, we talk about trading strategies, but finally what you're doing, you do it on your, on your own and on your own responsibility. I think that's quite uh, self-explaining but anyhow it has to be mentioned during a webinar. So what we try to cover today is on the one hand I want to introduce you a little bit more into JFD and West but we talk about the highlights of last week as well and we talk about my personal JFD and West account because from the very beginning of JFD and West, West which has been last year September I have opened JFD Invest account. You will learn what that means to have a JFD Invest account. And I have been starting following strategies. So what I have been done would be quite similar or identical to what you are doing with your JFD Invest account. And therefore you can see what I have achieved during close to one year um, with my trading account. So it looks good. I know we have had drawdowns uh, in the last couple of months, but still we are extremely profitable and I would like to share those results with you as well. So first of all, let me introduce you a little bit more into JFD Invest and that's quite easy if you start at the JFD uh, homepage uh, and then you go for investing and then for JFD Invest, then you are almost where you want to be. And that's a JFD Invest platform. But let me describe you a little bit more what's going on here. First, I want to show you that we are talking about real profitable trading strategies. You see here already a summary of the top five, five performing strategies. And you see we have double digit growth in those kind of strategies. And we have even now the highlight that one strategy, which is called Hyperion, um, is already exceeding the 100% level, meaning that account has doubled 
during uh, the time of trading, which is um, close to two years now, and that's a real fantastic result. You see already some other key figures, but those I will uh, introduce much more in detail later when I go directly to those strategies. And you see, all you have to, to do or all you can do is you follow those strategies, which finally means that all the trades of that master account are copied into your JFD Invest account. And the other good thing is that you don't have to uh, select just one. No, you can uh, have as many as you like if enough money is available. <coughs> and then you create what I call a portfolio. And that is a kind of a diversification process you're doing. And that's always good when it comes to trading and investing. So those are the five top performers. The table is updated uh, overnight, every day. And But now let me introduce how you could be part of JFD Invest as well. So the first step is to open a JFD Invest profile. That is just a registration process. No money is involved. It's just uh, your email address and uh, password you select by your own. And um, then, yeah, you can go already as um, um, with your profile and you get more details about any trading strategies. And the process to, to do that is simply to sign up. That's all. You still have the opportunity to go in to more details as a guest, uh, and that is what I will do in a minute here. Finally, if you have a profile, you might open a JFD Invest account as well, which is a special account, because that account has the same uh, trading conditions than professional traders have, meaning they have a leverage of 1 to 100, and you get the same conditions. On the other hand, it's a real special account. You cannot trade by your own, so you cannot open own trades. That account is only meant for those copy trading activities on JFD Invest. Finally, you connect your profile with your account, and then you can start if you have monetized your uh, JFD invest account that's all you can uh, you have to do so it's quite easy and now we can start as a guest okay but i will press a button um but first i would like to share with you the top performing uh, results of last week because uh, those are always summarized uh, in our newsletter and you can see once again, I think it's the second or even third time in a row that, uh, no, it's, it's, I think it's the second, that Gold Rush has been the top performer um, with um, close to 4% in one week. And you see already the overall growth of that account here in the chart. We will have a better view on that um, directly out of the JFD Invest platform. You see, okay, it goes up and down, but overall, there's a very good trend to the north, which is always good uh, for for any investing activity. But of course, there are drawdowns as well. Okay. You see that we have other quite good performing strategies of last week, Hyperion, uh, which is the overall top performer, and uh, the BIP generation strategy was uh, the third one in that list. But I have, let's have a look really to what we are offering here at uh, JFD Invest. And you see, um, we have more than those five strategies. In total, we have 15. So there's a second page uh, down here. And now let's discuss a little bit more in detail those key figures. The reason why I want to go into those details is simply that when it comes to your decisions, you need some preferences. I mean, for example, if you just look for profitability, okay, then your selection would be quite easy. It would be Hyperion, nothing else. So you would put all your money into the one and only strategy. That's one possibility you can do, of course. And in this case, okay, you have had uh, good returns with the strategies, but there are maybe other things you you put in place for your decision process. And that is um, diversification. So you don't want to have uh, just one single strategy in your JFD Invest account. And on the other hand, 
um, you might have preferences like, okay, if my account has a drawdown of 10%, that will be a nightmare. If that's the case, maybe then Hyperion would not be the best choice for you. You see already um, one additional key figure here, which is called equity balance deviation. Let me explain that key figure. Equity and balance are two numbers related to a trading account. Balance is always the account in terms of closed trades. And at the very beginning, if you don't have an open trade, then equity equals balance. But at the moment you open trades, then your equity might differ from your balance because the open trades, they may be profitable, they may be um, in a losing situation. And now it comes to an equity balance deviation. So if you have numbers here like 40%, that would mean if the account is, for example, 10K, then there has been a point in time that in total 4,000 euros have been on floating losses. Floating losses is how those open trades are called floating because hmm, it is only at that moment. Finally, those trades might become profitable once again, but at least temporarily you, you have to, let's call it, suffer those um, drawdowns and those uh, floating losses. So therefore, it's an important key figure maybe for your decision as well. The other key figures here is just return, inception date, and uh, inception date, for example, means when was the beginning of that strategy, so the longer the better, at least in general, and we have the overall return last month's result and year to day uh, result, and looking for Hyperion, quite well. Gold Rush has been um, the top performer of last week, and you see, mm, not that bad. Um, strategy is a little bit more than one year old. Uh, total return, um, 22% last month, year to date. Everything looks fine as well. So that might be a good decision as well. But we have to look into the details in order to find that match between your preferences and those trading strategies. So let me first start with Hyperion here and that you learn a little bit more what you can get as additional details for any strategy on JFD Invest. If I, I have pressed just Hyperion and then it opens up exactly that kind of um, page and we always start with the growth. And the growth, okay, you see quite steady up and downs as well. Okay, that means there are drawdowns um, involved. Okay, but and nevertheless, we are close to the all time high, which is extremely good. And above 100, yeah, I think that's uh, telling its own story by its own. But we have other key figures as well. I mentioned already equity balance deviation, but we can have a look to that even versus time. So that means you see it here exactly over the last uh, one and a half year, uh, how much uh, money have been on risk um, for that strategy. And you see overall, um, if you follow that strategy, it would be you know, on average about, let's say, 10 to 15 percent. OK. And now, once again, it comes to your preferences. Is it too much for you if you like that kind of strategy? Then maybe then finally your decision is no, I go for something else. But if you are willing to accept that kind of risk, then it's a perfect match and you have an extremely profitable strategy. Uh, and that is uh, one called Hyperion. Let me uh, start again with the growth because I want to figure out another uh, graph. And now I go for equity. And then you say, oops, what's now? That's strange. Um, overall, and then now that big step down here. But we haven't seen that in the growth. What does it mean? That is simply a withdrawal on that on that master account. It has nothing to do with you and your, if you follow the strategy, so you would not see uh, that step down, definitely no. But the trader of that master account, yeah, took out some money of it, of its profit, and uh, of course you can do, but it has no impact on your 
um, trading account. So you see there are two green lines and those two green lines reflect equity and balance. And of course, you see the equity balance deviation. You see quite steady growth in the equity, then the withdrawal and going up again here. Um, and of course, there are some floating losses from time to time, but overall a fantastic strategy. You have the monthly return table here as well. And you see that we offer a lot of more trading statistics, a uh, total number of mm, trades, um, average win, average loss, whatever you like to know on statistics, you get it here. Maybe a little bit more important might be what kind of instruments this strategy trading. And in this case, it's um, mainly ducks and Dow Jones, as you can see, those kind of symbols, some other trades on other symbols, but the majority is on those two indices. So even that might be one of your preferences and for your matching process, do you like the strategy? Yes or no? If you like uh, indices, perfect match. If you just want to have Forex, okay, then look, then let's have a look to other strategies as well. Finally, I want to introduce uh, the details here because there we have some uh, quite important additional numbers. Let me start with a minimum investment. So you see here, if you would like to, if you like to follow that strategy, then you need a minimum a 6K account. That number is different for any strategy here at JFD West. Um, there are strategies starting with uh, 1,000, uh, 2,000, whatever. Uh, so you will find that number as a minimum in West. And I don't want to hide that number here as well. There's always a performance fee involved and that performance fee is uh, 25%. That means you pay a charge, you pay a fee, yes, but only from the profits. And that on high watermark principle. If you're not that familiar with that kind of um, instrument or that kind of, of calculation procedure, high watermark uh, principles, that means finally only if your followed trading account with that strategy is reaching new highs, then you have to pay from the profits 25%. There's no management fee uh, involved. It's just that performance fee. And it's only if you reach new highs with your followed strategy. So that's, I think, uh, quite fair procedure uh, and the best one we can do. But that is, uh, have to be mentioned, of course. So that is one strategy. Um, and in this case, Hyperion. Let's have a look to the other one as well, Gold Rush. Uh, that was the top performer of last week. And, and now you see the same graph uh, we have had um, uh, in, in the email. At the email it was just stopping here because uh, later the week there was another step up here, um, quite doing well. By the way, it was once again on Tuesday, and uh, that has uh, something to do with the strategy. I will uh, mention that in a minute. And then, okay, once again, some uh, losses here. But anyhow, it's going up and down, okay, but finally it goes up. What about equity balance deviation for this strategy? And you see, way, totally different picture, extremely low numbers. There's one um, outlier here and honestly that's real outlier i have no idea why we have that in our data because let me tell you a little bit more about that strategy that strategy is trading lots of instruments yes you can see and there's even a second page here uh, with a few more and the logic of that strategy is a statistical analysis of the day of the week you remember I mentioned on Tuesday there have been good results for that strategy. Um, and uh, let me go back here and the other, the, uh, those steps up here have been two, two Tuesdays. And what is the strategy doing? It's looking for statistical discrepancies for special week days of the week. And then the strategy, if it finds such, then it's opening a trade. It's um, market open of the instrument. So it would be around midnight uh, for most of uh, the symbols here. 
And the other good thing is strategy is closing all the trades uh, at the same day. So there's no overnight risk, no over weekend risk. Uh, trading duration is never more than one, than a single day. And uh, so there's no other risk involved. There are no rebuys, uh, nothing else. And therefore we have that um, behavior of floating losses. So the strategy is much less risk affine than, for example, Hyperion. On the other hand, it doesn't show up uh, that grows like Hyperion. So you see, that's exactly what I mean with the match between your preferences about trading and um, those strategies being offered at JFD Invest. And how it, the good thing is you can diversify. You, you might have, let's say, 20K, and then you put 6K into Hyperion. So about one third of your account and 6K has been the minimum number for Hyperion. And you, you might put additional money. Let's go back to uh, uh, Gold Rush once again. And here you see minimum investment is uh, 2K. So you might put additional 6K to Gold Rush as well. And the rest of your money, uh, you leave it or you put it on other strategies. Let's think about if you have 6K in Hyperion, we know that historically there has been floating losses of 40%. Okay, 40% of 6K, um, that's about uh, 2.5K. Ah, that compared to my overall account of 20K, that doesn't look that bad. It's uh, maybe 12%. So we can reduce the overall drawdown in a diversified portfolio uh, just by selecting different kinds of strategies. And we can reduce the overall drawdown because everything is mixing up. And that's how you act as a portfolio manager uh, because you do the selection process and you um, diversify uh, your uh, trading account. So that's, that's a real cool story. But at I really strongly recommend go into the details of any strategy before you follow that you understand what what risk profile is um, related to that given strategy and then you match it with your preferences and do the final decisions about um, uh, how much money you allocate for a given strategy. I promised to show my personal account here as well so therefore I log in. Uh, into my uh, JFD Invest account. So what I'm now showing is what it might be the identical thing you have in your JFD Invest account. I have logged into my profile and that profile is uh, uh, linked to my trading account. And you see that's what I have achieved in close to one year. My overall target has been to have a gross return of more than 25%. And you see, I have achieved that uh, if nothing goes wrong uh, within the next months, because exactly in one month, that account will be one year uh, old. You see, I have started at the 24th of September last year, and that's what I have earned with my JFD Invest account. Okay, the story until May this year was uh, even more fantastic. Then I have had a few drawdowns here. And honestly, I like to have them because I show that account and share that account with you. I just want to show you that not all the time every, anything, uh, everything goes north. There might be drawdowns still as well, but the overall profitability is extremely well. So that's exactly what you might achieve with your JFD Invest account as well. And let's have a look to my allocation. And that means what you see here is how I have done my selection process. And you see that I'm invested in six different strategies here. And um, so I'm highly diversified uh, with the overall account size of uh, starting at, uh, at 10K. And now I'm here and I have uh, selected those different strategies. Honestly, I don't see um, any necessity to, to, to change something, but let me just show how easy it is. Um, so you see the action button here. So if you don't want to follow Vulcano anymore, it's just pressing that button here and one additional confirmation 
and then I'm out. That's all. That's how it works. Um, then all trades of that strategy are closed in my account and no new trade is opened for that strategy. So that's how you can stop allocation and um, how to follow a new strategy. So for example, if I want to, to uh, follow Goldmine, it would be just pressing the button follow and um, then I have to, to allocate money. You see the minimum is 500 euro. I don't have those 500 uh, anymore being available, so therefore I cannot do it finally. But um, I can uh, invest 1k, 2k, whatever, uh, if money money is available. So that's the one thing you, you do. You select how much money you allocate for that strategy, and you might apply what's called risk management as well. And let me introduce that in a little bit more in detail. That means, for example, uh, if I invest 500 euro and I put that slider here to 50%, it would mean whenever I have 50% losses, so that would mean 250 euro, strategy is automatically stopped. So it's something like a stop loss, but for a strategy, on a strategy level. So that you can do as well, and everything is done automatically. And now just follow, and then I, I would follow that st strategy. And by the way, here's a performance of um, the guild mine. Everything I do here, I can do wherever I am. So even on vacation, um, at least if I have access to the internet, I can do anything. I can change allocation. I can review new trading strategies. I can uh, stop allocation and I can follow um, a new strategy. And I just need access to the internet. That's all. You don't need a special server and everything is running directly at JFD. Uh, and you don't need something which is called a VPS or expert advisors or anything like that. So just having a profile, an account, and then you can start being part of JFD Invest. So it's really easy. And um, you may have similar results like I have here with my personal trading account, but even maybe you have better results. So why not? Uh, so that's what you can achieve and i hope you like it as well i will share my results as always every week um, because then you can see whenever i do changes in my allocation um, process and i will introduce new strategies here as well whenever we have new strategies launched at uh, jfd invest so that's for now i hope i covered all the questions and uh, if you have additional ones please do not hesitate uh, to drop me a line to that email address here or you write support at jfdbank.com and we will help you uh, definitely. Enjoy the day. Enjoy your weekend. See you again next week, hopefully. Bye-bye.